sensory changes and dementia, sense of taste and smell, hints and tips. Hi everybody, I'm Agnes Houston. I was diagnosed with dementia of the Alzheimer's type 12 years ago now. When I was diagnosed, people started to talk to me about my cognitive issues, and there were certainly cognitive issues there, memory loss, forgetting names, the normal that we all know about. But when it started to affect my vision and my other senses, my sense of taste, my sense of smell, the olfactory hallucinations, the smell of burning, this was becoming really, really emotionally disturbing to me and I couldn't find any help or any information about this. So I was speaking to other people with dementia and was surprised to find that they too were having these issues but were too frightened or embarrassed to talk about it. So we banded together and produced this booklet here called Dementia and Sensory Challenges. This booklet was just to highlight what we were feeling and what was happening. So with the help of Life Changes Trust and Outside the Box, we decided that we could take and highlight two of our senses and take it a step further. So we looked at the sense of taste and the sense of smell. We went on to speak to people about their experiences to find out what works well for them. There was another great project going about called Food Buddies. We went and spoke to them and asked them for some hints and tips. I hope you enjoy what we've done. I hope it's helpful to you and if you know of anything that might help that you have used in your life or you're a professional that you feel that you could help us then please get in touch with outside the box. Sense of taste and smell, hints and tips. Tip 1. Keep a sensory diary. Make a note of any sensory changes you notice. Make a note of what you experience, when and where. Share this information with people who can support you, such as your doctor, friends or family. Tip 2. Contrasting colours. Use dishes that contrast with the colour of your food. Blue coloured crockery works well with most foods. Avoid using mugs of one colour as it can be difficult to see the rim. Colours can make the edge of the mug more noticeable. The blue and white of this mug contrast with each other, highlighting the rim. Mugs with a coloured or patterned edge also work well. Coloured cups can be easier to recognise compared to clear glass. Coloured napkins can be useful to offer extra contrast. This can be especially helpful if you're eating out, as white plates on white tables offer very low contrast. Tip 3. Grazing plates. Grazing plates work well if you're overwhelmed by a big plate of food. Try a selection of different textures and tastes. This can work well for a big group or you can have a single portion for a meal or a snack. Grazing plates can be sweet, savoury or a mix of both. Tip 4. Boosting sweetness. Some people told us that they began to prefer sweeter foods. Boost the sweetness of your foods by adding jams, sweet sauces, dried fruit or fresh fruit. Honey and maple syrup also work well for boosting sweetness. They can be added to hot drinks as well. Tip 5. Boosting flavour. Boost the flavour of your food by adding mustard, sauces, chutneys, herbs and spices. They can boost the flavour of your home cooking or any ready meals that you buy. 
They can be used to season at the end as well. Tip 6. Food for smaller appetites. Try to use full fat dairy products such as milk, cream, cheese or butter. Use full fat milk and cream in your tea and coffee. It also works well in milky drinks such as hot chocolate, Ovaltine or milkshake. Try adding a little double cream to enrich your normal meals. We have added it to our porridge and to our soup. Adding a little full fat cheese to your meals can also work well for smaller appetites. Nuts and nut butter, such as peanut butter, make a great snack. They are full of healthy fats and great for a small appetite. Beans and lentils are good to add to stews, soups and casseroles. Tip 7. Clearly label your food. Clearly marking the expiry date on your food can help if you are experiencing changes to your sense of smell. Other information can also be added to these labels, such as the cooking instructions. Tip 8. Look for different types of support. Due to my phantom smell of burning, my daughter requested a free home fire safety visit from my local fire service. The outcome of this visit is that my fire alarm is linked directly with the fire service. If you want a copy of these booklets and film clips, you will be able to access them on Life Changes Trust website. We would like to thank everyone who shared their experiences. For more information, please contact Outside the Box or Life Changes Trust.